Many students at Rasayanika email me asking which particular career is better, a chemistry career or a pharmacy career? Should I get into BSc, MSc chemistry or should I get into B Pharm, M Pharm? So in today's video, we're going to do a litmus test. We're going to check which career is good for you. Now, in the meanwhile, while you're watching this video, please make notes because I'm going to give you some good comparisons in between both the fields and profession so that you are able to, without any bias, decide which one is good for you. Now, having said that, let me start by summarizing this video in one line for those who have less time. However, I will still insist, please watch the full video. So, summary in one line is, you know, if you want a quick, quick answer, let me tell you this way. So, if you get into the pharma side of chemistry, so chem pharma is also chemistry, right? If you get into the pharma side of chemistry, then you cannot get a job in a regular chemistry company. While if you have done a chemistry degree, you can easily get into the pharma segment also with a diploma or a uh, short term course. Now, having said that, uh, both these fields will get job in biotech industry. So that's something which you should know. So now coming to the elaborate answer to this, wherever you will see BSc, MSc chemistry, so this makes it five years, wherever, wherever you will see B farm plus M farm, it will be six years. So obviously you are spending one extra year here. Money wise and profession wise, there is no much, uh, you know, reward. It's, it's like similar depending on how good you are, right? So first things first, you have to remember that if you have an interest towards the human side or animal side or the biology side of chemistry, then easily you can get into the or drug discovery side of chemistry, then you can easily go into the uh, pharma segment. If you have interests only into the chemistry, like you love physical chemistry, inorganic or organic chemistry, so core chemistry you can go in. And according to me and the experience which I have, like I have 17 years of experience now in the industry, I have seen that chemistry candidates get easily absorbed in chemi chemical sciences industries, they easily get absorbed in the biotech industry, and they easily are welcomed in the pharma industry also. Whereas you, when you are doing a pharma, you are welcomed in biotech as well as pharma companies, but not in chemical companies like paint industry. Like So there are some aspects where you may not be able to get in. So that is something which you should know. Now, let's uh, look at the factors which you should consider. So the first thing which I said is education. Here you are spending one year extra in pharma instead of doing a uh, BSc plus MSc, which does a five years. Now, the career options which you get in chemistry is academia industry, research and government agencies. While in pharmacy, you get jobs in hospitals, retail pharmacy, pharmaceutical company, biotech companies, but not in core chemical sciences companies. Okay. Now the third is a working environment. Now, generally, both of them will have similar work working environment if you go into the research. So if it is a laboratory or a research facility, yes. But if you go to ph a pharmacy, you, if you're working in a shop like a community pharmacy or a hospital or a pharmaceutical industry, so there will be different conditions. You may not get only the same condition. However, in chemistry, same condition. It will be a lab, right? And next is patient interaction. So in a chemical sciences company, you don't have any patient interaction. However, in pharma setup, you obviously you will have. So that's a patient interaction. Now the salary potential, if you compare both of them, I will say that a chemistry guy has a higher chance, okay? then M farm guy. However, depends on that per particular person also, not only on the uh, field. Because if you are really passionate about the field and if you have uh, uh, some, you know, burning desire to do something big, nobody can stop you. Okay, I'm myself a pharma guy, I know it. It's not a big deal. You can achieve anything in life if you decide to do it, right? So that's about the work environment and the salary potential. Now coming to the job outlook, so as far as India is concerned, as well as global, I am saying both pharma as well as chemical sciences companies are growing like anything. Chemistry industry is more than $2 trillion industry globally. Pharma industry is bigger than $1 trillion industry in uh, the entire world. So definitely you will, in both the cases, you will get competitive salaries and potential to grow. And with specialization and educational qualification, the level, it varies, but I will still say uh, you start at a better pay scale in chemistry than pharma. Okay. Now, education duration, I have already told you uh, three to four years in bachelor's. Uh, if you're doing a BTEC chemical engineering, then obviously it will be four years. Otherwise, it is three years. Then you have advanced degree. Uh, also, you can do PhD. You can do same with uh, B farm. Then you can do M farm. Then you can do PhD. 
So six to eight years, it can go up to 12 years also. Based on that, you can get into academy or industry. You can become a professor or you can become a researcher or you can become a formation development. All such things you can do. Now, research opportunities in both the cases will be there. However, the domain will be different. But extensive research opportunities you will get into the chemical side of uh, you know in these companies uh, in chemistry. But in pharma, you will have a biological side of it, right? And uh, career advancement as far as uh, it is concerned, both of them are equally rewarding, but um, chem chemical sciences wins over um, pharma because you have additional chemical sciences industries also where you can get in. So uh, to summarize this video and tell you um, as a one line conclusion, go for the field which you are passionate about. If you like the biology side of chemistry, go for pharma. If you like the chemistry side only that you want to get into the hardcore chemistry, go for organic or inorganic or physical chemistry, coordinate chemistry, all such things. And then you can further pursue your research. According to me, the chemistry, chemical sciences industry has a bigger uh, scope than pharma, right? However, pharma has a different outlook. If you are passionate, you can grow in both the fields, okay? So this is the conclusion. I hope you like the video. If you have any special questions or uh, specific personal questions which you don't want to put in the comment section, you can always write to me at shekhar at rasainika.com and you must follow rasainika.com where we send you everyday newsletters with all these details and opportunities from the biotech, pharma and chemical sciences industry. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe with us today. And if you have any non-personal question, you can put them down in the comment section. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.